the Venice Recreation Center and the Venice area in general, I, I view this place as a very multicultural, um, diverse community. And unfortunately, uh, not in a community that really gels sometimes like I think it should. Uh, but I think that Venice is really, really, from a cultural standpoint, an important, important city in our United States of America. Mind is exactly this what we're seeing here. That people walking on the strand, little shops, hippie people saying they're selling their stuff, and of course a bit of surf and ocean. And, but mainly when I think of Venice, Venice Beach, I think of this. What problems does Venice Beach possess? Um, two that I'm noticing, and it seems like there used to be a lot of places that you know, relatively ordinary people could live here, and they, big, little places seem to be disappearing and being expensive, and all the dollar condos are coming up. So. Ah, uh, Italy, the flower of Europe, home of happy industrial and cultural people. Drenched by the Mediterranean sun and watered by the pure streams from snow-capped mountains. Italy and all the provinces. Sing along. We're in Piemonte now. Non ti potrò scordare che Montesina bella Sarà la sola stella che brillerà per me. Ricordi quelle sere passate al Valentino. What kind of problems does Venice Beach have? The same like in Santa Monica, like all over homeless, <laughs> homeless people all over the place. <laughs> Do you see this problem getting cleared up anytime soon? Or? Well, I hope so. Well, I lived here 41 years in Santa Monica, never was that bad, but lately, yes, now it is pretty bad. How has Venice Beach changed over the past 41 years that you've been around here? Oh, Venice Beach, well, to me, always, a lot of people come and want to see all the, the celebrity. I'm one of them. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is, but what the, what isn't matching is the the homeless people's efforts of coming down here and keeping up with the rest of the society, there's no help for them down here. However, down here you do see city cars about once a month come through if somebody has a really serious health problem, or uh, every now and then people have you know, a kid or something like that and they need help with that, and they take uh, and get their information or they take them away right then and, and help show them. But the problem is, is there's too many people. Mm -hmm. You go downtown uh, to Skid Row, you Half of those people there come down here in the daytime and go back there at night because it's just a different, there's nowhere down there for them to hang out. Down here they can hang out and not get harassed. Mm -hmm. How long have you been here? Uh, 15 years. And how do you think it's changed? For the better. However, the it stayed on a level, equal level for the homeless people here. They have about the same amount of help now as they did then. I would say it's actually better for them, but there's no housing, there's no food down here or anything for them. They have to go to either Santa Monica or West L.A. for the shelters, or they have to go back downtown at night in order to sleep without being harassed. 
The people just don't get along and gel. I know I've said that before, but that's that's what stands out most with me. They don't get along. They don't try to work together. Uh, and maybe it's because we've got such a diverse community, and you know, people coming and going, and and people visiting from all over the world. Some people just don't have what it takes to stay out of trouble. The cops realize that and give them a break. However, repeated successions of being a troublemaker, so to speak, and then you get in trouble, go to jail, or you go through the system, whatever system you want to call that. When they come back out, they always end up back out here. The police do show compassion and understanding for it. However, because like I said, the quantity of homeless people here in Venice Beach really makes a difference and an impact on tourism here. Mm -hmm. That's what the problem is, if you want to call it a problem. It's a debate on what the store owners, the artists, the neighbors that live here, and then the homeless people. That's too many sections not agreeing to help the homeless people. These are enchanted snakes for women only. Magic snakes. Thank God for Venice Beach.